Are you pulling out of Russia? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. And many B2B companies are now getting out of Russia for the fear of being closely connected to some Russian oligarchs or to the Russian market or in general with the Russian government. But how about Netflix, Apple, Google, Meta, and you name it, will they pull out? Here we have a different scenario as they are mostly in the business to customer and the B2C business. So therefore the Russian people will suffer if Apple and Netflix are no longer available. But would it even matter for those companies? A recent study shows that Apple, Google, Meta, Netflix, and you name it, only would lose about one to 2% of their multi-billion dollar revenue if they were pulling all of their services from Russia. Not a lot, more the breadcrumbs on the table. Amazon has some cloud server and some other services in the B2B world. However, the typical Apple customer, the typical Netflix customer is just an individual. Would they be hurt without that service? Maybe, but that's not the question. So if money is not the real issue, why would they stay in or why would they pull out? I can also see that Netflix, Apple, and the other big companies are interested in pulling out of a market to generate some goodwill on the hill, where they're right now heavily scrutinized for their quasi-monopoly and their structures in the United States. Would it benefit them to say, we are just a good corporate citizen, we are pulling out of a market to be in line with our governmental wishes? Maybe it will save them, but standing firm against Russia may definitely give them a bigger political argument in the financial losses they occur inside the United States.